electrics, skirting board, tidying up. Let's do it. Oh, I'm going to do that data cable as well. Yeah, I'm going to fit that. This is the one I mean. I'm going to fix that too. Right, let's go fit that and then we'll come back and do the other end of that. And then, um, then we'll be able to probably run something down here, um, a network router. Anyway, let's go fix this. So let's go fix this and get this on the wall so that it looks all right. Fix this on there. Now I need to sort that bit. So we'll sort this cable out. We'll now extend this cable and this one that at the moment's in a junction box because of the problem we had and the data cable is here. So we'll get this lot sorted. And then, I don't know if you remember, I, I fitted a couple of uh, cable ends and then tried, I tried testing it and it didn't work. Well, I've just realized there is another data cable and on here it says, the back bedroom data cable. So that's why I wasn't getting a reading first time with those two, because they go to totally different rooms. That's why, duh, obvious. Mess about with that cable, put it in, just test it, make sure it's all all right. And then I'll fit this end crimp, one of those stupid ends onto that data cable and test that as well. Just <laughs> kind of final little notch, it just pinged off and just took a chunk out my thumb. I've just taken about four inches off my thumb. Nice. <laughs> nice, he says.
well, not brilliant, but with a bit of cork and some paint, it'll look good. But you know, that that's not too bad. And there, just got one more piece, the one that took a bit of my thumb. Um, obviously a warning, don't use that piece. It's actually, now that I've kind of done it up against the curves of here, this is often the, the difficulty, I'm sure. All you joiners have probably got a million and one tips. I'm all ears and a joinery course is definitely something I'd love to do. That little one in there, um, yeah, it's just a bit short and it needs to come at a bit of an angle here because of the way that this board is tipped out. I am in this corner and obviously we've got to make sure that when we put the skirting board in here, yeah, that we don't go up this section, which is where all the cables are. Just cut down into this corner. I was having a flashback to, do you remember me chasing stuff out and trying to hammer these sockets out? If you, if you don't, go back and watch it. Jeez, it, you know, pick any of the first 30 or 40 videos because it felt like I did it every day for ages. It's funny being back in this corner. Anyway, this is the last bit here. So I'm only gonna screw it in on one side. So I'm avoiding all the cables that go up that side. And uh, when we've done that, I'll go around with some cork and just fill in the gaps, fill in the screw holes, the screw heads. And then the interior designer can come and paint to her heart's content. Apart from getting all the bloody dust out again tidying up, maybe painting the floor, sticking the curtain up. I don't think we're far off, which will be cause for minor celebration because that could be the first one. Well, no, I tell a lie because uh, this area here, I just realized I'm just staring at it. It's staring at me going, you haven't finished yet, bestie. You haven't finished yet. So I'm gonna get some tiles in there well, I will see you on the other side then, in that case. Or I do a serious amount of cleaning before she comes back. Well, it's not bad in that. That's pretty good. Actually, before I go and do the corking, God, I've only walked down one flight of stairs. Uh, I'm gonna do this data cable. Finish this data cable off and yeah, and then see what's what in terms of connections and whether it works. That was a tortuous 20 minutes or so to do that. I find those little things, if, if they're not going well to begin with, they're never gonna go well. You're never gonna get it back. And I got kind of five or six through, and the last couple just wouldn't, but I've redone it and I'm doing the testing thing. And it's ticking through all eight channels and giving green lights. It looks like it's worked. Well, I didn't bother kind of showing you how I do it. Uh, it, it, do you know what? Whatever you see on YouTube is cobblers because they are fiddly. Now, I've got to do this test thing. And when I've tested the one to the very top floor, there's a fault on number two, which means seven out of the eight are correct and one of them isn't. Now, given that I can barely see these things, the chances of me finding the fault in number two are slim. So. I get the feeling I'm gonna to have to do the whole lot again. But that's just the joys of doing these horrible little things. Hmm, trying to fit eight wires into something that really only, need, only wants to have about three is not great fun. But if it gets the data to the room at a better speed, then happy days. I could be here for a while though. 
Look at that. Okay. Look at that. One, no, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, where's number two? Oh, you stupid thing. Okay. All the way up to the top floor and I doubt my screwdriver. So it's all the way back down into the cellar and grab the screwdriver and back up another three flights of stairs. Moan, moan, moan. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> Don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's one missing. And I've been up to the other one. I'm pretty certain the other one is good. It's in here. managed to get the kind of the whites on top and if you look underneath the colors there and then what you do is you slide this through it kind of crimps this and snips off the end that's the theory anyway and then it should go one two three four five six seven eight putting them through the guillotine And then get this fella, put it in, turn it on. I've got nothing. I have gone from seven out of eight to zero. This is the most infuriating thing. What the hell has gone on? They're all there. The cut. They're all. I can see them up and down those bloody stairs again. Oh, my knees, everything hurts. I am losing the will to carry on with this stupid, stupid data cable load of rubbish. This will go down again into the cellar. Oh, my knees, my knees, my knees, my knees. I've plugged, I think I've plugged it into the wrong one up there. You know how there's two little things? I think I've plugged it in the wrong one. It's stupid. What the, what the, f is that? <sighs> okay, that, that's just, that's just random numbers. God's sake. Well, on a day that promised so much <laughs> and kind of delivered. Look, we got the skirting boards in, which they were awkward. So I'm pleased with that. We got that done. Need to cork it, not got around to corking it because I've been faffing around with those data things. And before I get to the point where I rip them with my bare fingers out of hardened plaster and brick walls, I am going to leave it there and disappear and go do something totally different, like have a beer or 15. And I will see you back here again, no doubt, as we... Oh, come on. Come on, we can do it. We can. We can, we are, and we will. It's just, it's not if, it's when. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue the escape to the dream house and that stupid data cable. See you there.